Ryan, how do beets explain the bioeconomy? So in Champagne, France, there's this biorefinery uh, called the Bazancourt Pomacle uh, facility that processes like 3 million tons of beets a year. Uh, and there's a, a surprising amount of stuff you can do with sugar beets, which I think illustrates uh, the various stages of bioprocessing that Gigi's been talking about. Uh, you can take beets and break them down into sugar. You can use that sugar for cooking or for fuel. Uh, you can break the sugar and other beet by byproducts down into um, lignans, which are uh, polymers that you can use then in animal feed or, or you can mix to create concrete. Um, you can break those lignans further down into acids and proteins that you can use to make nylon and other materials. Uh, and really there are several questions that uh, are embedded in this process. What are you doing with the waste from the beets? How are you harvesting and replanting the seeds? How are you growing bigger, better beets that give you more sugar and more lignin? Uh, and really, uh, biotechnology it, at its current stage is about trying to answer those questions and trying to create bigger, better beets. And that sounds great. Um, why do we need a national strategy for it? I know I sound like Dwight Schrute over here or something, but um, <laughs> no, because there are so many other, there's so many other applications uh, that span, you know, fix that go well beyond beats that extend into food, medicine, materials, energy, um, industries that we can use to, to solve some of the country's most wicked challenges. For instance, for instance, um, you know, I, I think that there are a few discrete problems that you know, the Biden administration is focused in on. Climate is one of them. Uh, the economy is another. Uh, public health and, and trying to manage the COVID-19 response is another. Biotechnology is central to answering all of those, right? In terms of climate, uh, we need alternative, cleaner sources of fuel. Uh, we've been trying to subsidize and, and bring from nothing uh, a biofuels industry in this country for decades. Um, and I think synthetic biology can actually help with scaling up those efforts, driving down costs, potentially making this a really competitive industry. Uh, on food, I think it's obvious, right? We can eat beets. Uh, you know, my, my heritage is Ukrainian. Uh, Got to do it all the time. But uh, there are other foods we can, we can grow and eat too, not just beets. There's something for everybody. But, um, you know, uh, economically, though, I think there's the greatest promise. Uh, you know, we shouldn't make this all about risk uh, or trying to mitigate the next pandemic, although that is a crucial component. Uh, there are just so many opportunities to create stuff we use every day. Uh, the clothes I'm wearing now could be used with, you know, beet nylon. Uh, uh, maybe that's a better branding campaign than, uh, you know, uh, some of the, the problems that Nike and H&M and, uh, have been having in China. Um, but, you know, there, there are an infinite number of supply chain questions and problems that could be solved by uh, synthesizing new materials in the United States.